Sunwheel is the ancient symbol of sun god. Origin of windows is from the sunwheel. Sunwheel is the eye of Horus, Osiris, Apollo, son of Zeus, meaning enlightenment. Luke chapter 11 verses 33 to 36. No one, when he has lit a lamp, puts it in a secret place or under a basket but on a lampstand, that those who come in may see the light. The lamp of the body is the eye. Therefore, when your eye is good, your whole body also is full of light. But when your eye is bad, your body also is full of darkness. Therefore take heed that the light which is in you is not darkness. If then your whole body is full of light, having no part dark, the whole body will be full of light, as when the bright shining of a lamp gives you light. The pyramid of the occult iconography should be understood according to the revelation of verse 34. The capstone eye is the lamp of the pyramid body, what is recognized as the all-seeing eye of Horus, Osiris, or Apollo can be considered as the bad eye of verse 34, whose body also is full of darkness. The capstone's Luciferian glow is Luke chapter 11 verse 35 light that is darkness. Every window in occult symbolism is a trans-dimensional portal. At the launching of Windows 10 technical preview, Many news outlets have been publishing articles stating that the Windows 10 technical preview is a keylogger, that is spying on you, or collecting private data. Yes, it was true. Below are the information that Microsoft collect when you install Windows 10 technical preview. Information about your device and application. Collect information about voice input features like speech to text. Information about the opening of a file, information about the file itself, the application used to open the file, and how long it takes. Information about when you enter a text, they may collect typed characters. These four main sources of data collection are enough to monitor you and your device completely. The statistics about the so famous technical preview demonstrate that over 1 million people have registered to download Windows 10 via the Windows Insider program. The statistics do not clearly specify the exact number of downloads for Windows 10 technical preview but what is sure is that the sensitive information of over 1 million users have been successfully caught up. Now, hold on to your seat belt. Microsoft will be launching its official version of Windows 10 this month but did you hear about its features and possibilities? Well, its possibilities surpassed everything that even Apple or Google did. It is believed to be the ideal product but let me share with you what is actually happening behind the scene. First of all Microsoft will give the ability to everyone to upgrade their device to its Windows 10 freely even if your previous Windows version is a pirated one. Windows 10 will be free for a lifetime. Windows 10 will be equipped with a virtual assistant called Cortana. This virtual assistant will automatically display the kind of thing you like based upon your interest, this means that the virtual assistant will be analyzing your behavior. Second and most important fact is that this virtual assistance does not limit itself in replying to simple question but can interact with you and even send an email to someone on your behalf. During the Windows 10 preview with Joe Belfiore, he stated the following phrase while referring to Cortana. She's incredibly smart because her intelligence is based in the cloud and she's scouring the internet, learning about everything. In other words, Joe Belfiore means that this virtual assistant is not just a simple assistant bot but an artificial intelligence, AI. The main threat with the cloud system is that the AI is connected to the servers of Microsoft and whatever you try to communicate to the AI, it will firstly communicate it to Microsoft servers and then get back to you. Through the AI, Microsoft will be able to know who are in your close circle, your interest, your facial metrics and your voice signal as you shall communicate with Cortana through speech. Before continuing, let me introduce where Cortana comes from. During all those years, 
Microsoft has focused on creating their operating system, Windows, and enhancing the system. But starting in 2001, Microsoft has revealed to be one of the publisher and the developer of Halo. A specific and important character in the game series Halo appears under the name of Cortana which is an alien, hybrid creature. I guess that you may have heard about Jade Helm or CERN, isn't it? Well, Jade 2.0 is an artificial intelligence system using quantum computer technology in order to track, monitor the Americans and compute incredible calculations in order to bring the machine of the new world order to its full potential. This artificial intelligence, Jade 2.0, Using quantum technology will receive information from social medias, public records, and also such system as Microsoft Windows 10, Apple Air 2, fingerprint, or iPhone voice recognition which will submit your information to the server of this quantum computer. This quantum computer will be able to calculate the behavior, emotions, interest, and aspect of human beings worldwide, mostly Americans. The database of this quantum computer is being fed by those information that you people upload onto the internet, consciously or unconsciously. The more information that the quantum computer receives, the more it will be efficient to take you down. This system is capable of anticipating any of your move, action, or reaction even before you commit it and its goal is to master the human domain as its logo suggests. If you listen carefully to the video, you will notice that the main character says. The project's all about one point perspective and kind of looking at the logo itself as a portal that was allowing us to look into space. CERN in Switzerland is being used to open portals to other dimensions and the outcome of their experiments are being used to magnify the potential of the quantum computer. The conclusion is that those findings are being used to personify products such as Windows 10 to make you think you are benefiting from it in a certain extent but in the most important perspective they are using those advantages as a bait to enroll you as human nodes into their quantum computer.